Darren, just first of all, starting with uh, the FA Youth Cup exit the other night, you wrapped the game yourself. You, know, you must be impressed with how they've conducted themselves throughout the whole process of that competition. They've been brilliant, to be honest, um, to get as far as they did. Um, they can all be very proud of what they've achieved in that tournament this season. Uh, the game itself, you know, very nearly they clawed it back as well and took the game to extra time. They had one or two chances to make it 4-4 which unfortunately they never took but you know it was a it was a brilliant second half performance um and the coaching staff obviously Danny and Lee and and the players deserve a lot of credit so you know they they can be pleased with their their run in the cup this year obviously the academy's always played such a big part of the uh, the setup here we've got a number of uh, academy graduates in the first so it must be refreshing for you to see that that's continuing yeah, and, and 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 academies across the country always have a big part to play. Um, I was reading this morning about Man United having an academy player in in the match day squad. I think last night was the four thousandth time. So, you know, that's that's something that we want to follow here. We've got a, a a good academy system, and we've got some real talented boys coming through. Um, the one that's sort of currently in and around the first team that's grabbing all the headlines is, is obviously Jack Taylor. But he's he's one of many that have have been through the system and moved on or uh, been through the system and still currently part of our first team. So it's a big part of this club going forward that we keep opening the door for the young boys. On to the game tomorrow. We open our account in the FA Trophy. What can the fans expect from your team and how you would approach this one? I'll approach it how I approach every game, whether it be cup or league. It's a game that I want to win um, for, for a number of reasons. I want to do well in the tournament. Um, I'd love the opportunity to take this team all the way um, with the reward of obviously a, a visit to Wembley. Um, we're still looking for momentum, which is something that I've gone on regular about so in that respect I, I don't want to rock the boat there I want to I want to keep looking for that momentum we've got a lot of games coming up got one or two boys coming back from injury which will hopefully contribute and make us stronger but certainly in, in terms of the game tomorrow we, we, we'll be strong and, and we're looking to continue our recent upturn in fortune. Is that the motivation that you use going into this competition and the, the message you get across to the boys is that five games and your brain won't be safe. And that's the thing, and with it only being five minutes up the road from us, um, you know, it's 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 a great opportunity uh, to, with a, with an unbelievable reward at the end if we if we take it seriously and work hard and, and apply ourselves correctly. And that all starts tomorrow. The, the, the sort of side issue to that as well is, you know, we're, we're in, we're in, good recent form you know we look a real threat going forward we've been playing some good stuff um, and we look quite settled at the minute and you know I want I want that feeling to be not only over two games I want to be saying the same thing in ten games so it's important that we just take that one game at a time albeit it's a cup match but one game at a time and, and just keep striving for that consistency face way with the Good side, very good side. Watched a lot of their stuff. Uh, like the way they play, like the like the way they set up. Um, obviously, got a manager that's played the game, and I believe he's involved with the academy system at uh, Bournemouth. So you know, all of their teams try and play the right way from from the first team down. So I expect them to come and give us a football match. Um, and what we've got to do is is match their desire and commitment and and maintain the sort of quality levels and, and our clinical way we've had about us in the last two games, you know. So I expect a tough game. You know, they're they're going well, like you say, in the in the league below, so we won't take it lightly. But as always with me, uh we we've done some work on them but my main focus is on us.